Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Ignite series. Can't wait, I'm looking forward to New Smyrna and waiting for the playoffs to start, but this is Stafford. So after the race at Stafford, I'm now 21st, which means I'm making it to the playoffs, I'm pretty much locked in. I'm, d I'm definitely going to try and get lower at New, New Smyrna so I can... My goal is to try and get the 15 car, because whatever place you finish here, is, I'm pretty sure that's the number you're going to get for the playoffs. So I'm trying to get the lowest number I can because I just want a lower number than 21st. But that's where I finished after Stafford. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my qualifying lap as always. And then we'll get right into the race. Okay guys, so here's my qualifying lap. You pretty much want to run the high line here and then bring it down and get on the gas as early as possible because that'll give you a good exit, uh, but I unfortunately hit the wall there which didn't give me a good exit. And then you just want to pretty much do what I'm doing right here except don't get tight like I just did and mess it all up. You want to run the wall and then right when you see those grooves there you want to pretty much stay on that black line, touch the inside and then bring it out to the wall again. So because I messed up that exit on my outlap, that did make me, that, that does actually make about a half a tenth faster, which does make a big difference. Plus I got some damage now which is going to make my SR go down, but fortunately I think it's still pretty high, I think it's like 2.70 right now. And there again I just, for some reason I got so loose there and messed up both my laps. So that gave me a, what is it? That actually didn't count at all because both my laps were hitting the wall. So that was a 22.6. I should have been running 22.4 at least. But since I hit the wall it didn't count and it made the lap time really slow. So somehow even though it didn't count I suppose these are the other guys hit the wall too. So I started 7th which is actually pretty bad. I should have been like 5th or 4th actually, or 2nd actually, if I d did my normal lap with which was a 22.4. So I could have actually been winning this race if I wanted to messed up those two laps. So let's get into the race now. So here we go, green flag, starting 7th position. Now, uh, this, this looks like it's going to be crazy already. We're basically going to have to go 3 wide to pass anybody. But somehow, the, I don't know if this is normal at Stafford, somehow we all singled up so quickly that I was able to just start passing people. Now the problem is, somehow everybody is really the same speed. Like you can see I'm not really catching anybody, I'm just diving into the corner better. First place is definitely taking off, but besides that we're all pretty much the same speed. One thing about this track is if you brake a little too hard, it actually makes you get really tight around the bottom of the turn, which will make you get a really bad exit. So it's really crucial that you get on the brakes just enough so that you slow down for the turn, but not too much or you'll really slide out like I am, right? Well, actually, I didn't do it there, but you can see that four Red Bull car did. It really just makes you a lot slower. I think he just did it there too. Yeah, he's doing it a couple times, so I'm definitely going to catch him if he keeps doing it. And he's doing it again. As close to the wall as possible. I could definitely go closer there. And now he really slid out. That was a big slide. He's definitely breaking way too much. It's probably because of the I'm putting pressure on him from behind. Well, there he got it better. Oh, they both slid out really bad. That one you could actually see tire marks getting made. And I just got really loose there, almost lost it. But I'm on the inside of him now. 
So if he doesn't pinch me down, which he just didn't, that gave me a pretty good run. I'm gonna probably pass him here now. There we go, diving it in, almost crashed in him because I bra hit my brakes too hard by diving it like that. But he was going wide too, and the outside really doesn't work here at all, so I'm definitely gonna get by him now. There we go, I'm in front of him, but he's gonna try and make it three wide if I don't block the car behind me. I blocked him, but I slid out, and now I hit him on the outside. Now I'm in a bad situation. The three cars on the inside, the four car, which is diving in, just bumped me, so I'm getting really uh, bad run into the corner. Now the three car is definitely on my inside. If I don't really pinch him down, he's definitely going to pass me here. Six car just got by the four car. I didn't notice that. And there we go. Three car slides right in front of me because the outside simply doesn't work. The apron doesn't work here either, that's why the six car didn't go through. Three wide here is the worst idea ever. That four car just keeps diving it in way too hard. Getting on the apron a little too much there is letting the six car catch up. Now he's on my inside. I really should have pinched him down more. And he got by me. And now I just got hit by the four car. Now one thing about Legends cars is that you can pretty much bump people all the time and you won't really break the car. So once somebody bumps you, I recommend you just bump them back because if you don't, they'll just keep on shoving you around the whole racetrack. That's pretty much how it is in these races. You can see his bumper bar is a little bent already, so he probably got bumped by someone else. But he's still diving it in way too hard. Like, see how much I caught up to them there? He's just really hitting his brakes way too hard. Now there he kind of pinched me down. It wasn't really that, that bad though. The outside just doesn't work here. I'm pretty much going to get past him. But he's diving it in so hard. I don't know why he doesn't notice that. He wasn't doing bad in any other races either. So I don't know why he's really slow here. Somehow there he got the apron to work pretty good. But I got loose I think and almost wrecked him. How many X's do I have in this race? Well, I only got a 4X, so that was probably it right there. That might be the cleanest Ignite race I've had so far. This is lap 22, so it's a 35 lap race, so coming to the end. Right now, I'm 8th position. 4 cars finally stopped diving in. But, oh, he got really loose there and just smashed into the wall. He's down. He's probably going to have to pit for that because he just flipped himself over. So now I really don't have to worry about what's behind. I just have to focus on staying consistent and getting faster each lap. Otherwise, I'm going to stay 8th, which really isn't a good position to be in. So you can see up ahead, they're having a really good pack battle. And I'm really pushing it in way too hard now. Passing that guy. I think that was a lapped car, though. Pretty sure it was, because I'm still 8th. So those guys up ahead are really battling hard, so that's hopefully going to slow them down a bunch, because... They're all fighting for the same position, pretty much, so that should make them slow down a lot more, which should hopefully allow me to catch up. But my tires are pretty worn at this point, and you can see I'm really sliding it. You can see not a... there, I slide out way too much right there. And then I'm bringing it 
not as far out as I should to the wall. I'm really losing my grip. Those guys up ahead are really shuffling around their positions. That should... I'm really hoping that's going to lead to something. Because you can see I'm catching them, but there goes the white flag. So unless something really happens here, I'm definitely not going to catch up. So right about now, I was really just hoping they all wrecked each other out. But as you can see, they didn't wreck as bad as I would have liked. And so it only gave me about two positions. But two positions, that's eighth. So two positions would be sixth. I'd take that. And let me go ahead and show you guys. This was my first photo finish, actually. I'm going to go ahead and try and get... A shot at the line. There we go. So you can see them over there wrecking. I'm going to try and slow this down as much as I can. And there. That was the gap. That gave me 6th position. There you go. 6th position. So I passed those two guys. Which was actually pretty surprising. That was my first ever photo finish. And I'm really happy with that. Gonna try and get it right here at the line for the picture. So, that gave me 6th position. Really happy with that. 21st in points now. Now it's just Smyrna, new Smyrna, and then the playoffs. So I'm definitely locked in. Just want to try and get the lowest number I can. And I really just can't wait for the playoffs. So I'll see you guys at new Smyrna. Thanks for watching.